Hello guys, welcome back to CBAS Tutorial Channel and this is our example number 2 for chapter 1, Dead Loads of Structural Theory 1. The New Jersey barrier is commonly used during highway construction. Determine its weight per meter of length if it is made from plain stone concrete. So ito lang siya, plain concrete lang yan. So kunin natin muna yung density ng plain stone concrete. Ah yes, before we start to solve this problem, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So, check natin. Siguro, copy na lang din natin, na. So, lightweight concrete de. Ayan, dito tayo. Sa concrete plain stone. Yan ang sabi, oh. Yan, oh. Plain stone concrete. So, this is 22.6. So, this is 22.6 kN per meter cube. So, ito yung kanyang length. Yan. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan ating mamultiply sa ano to. Kasi diba, or weight over height multiplied by W multiplied by length. So, dito, wala tayong height, wala tayong W na basta-basta. Kasi, yung area or cross-sectional area ng ating ano ba to? Barrier is hindi rectangular shape. Wala siyang height, wala siyang width. Diba? Eh, but anyway, ang ating, ano kasi, H and W is area. Diba? Kaya, ang gagawin natin is simumultiply natin sa area ito para mawala yung ating, yan, yung ating HW dito, yung diniscuss ko sa introduction. But anyway, pwede rin naman, W over area multiplied by L, area multiplied by L is volume. Diba? Kaya multiply mo lamang ng area, madidistribute na natin siya sa length. So, kailangan natin makukuha yung area na ito, which is uh, irregular yung shape. So, drawing natin. Yan. And, this is 100 millimeters. This is 600. Siguro, lakihan pa natin. Yan. Then, <laughs> medyo naging malaki na tuloy ito. Ayan. So, hati-hatiin natin yung mga area. So, let's say this is our area 1. Oops. Area 1. And then, this is our area 2. And then, so area to top. Then, ito naman, area 3. Area 3, 4, and then 5. Yung orange. So, area 1, madali lang yan. This is 600 multiplied by 150. And then, ang gawin natin siguro is i-store na lang natin to. Or sige, ilagay mo natin yung value, then store natin sa A. 600 multiplied by 150. This is 90,000. I-store natin sa A. So, 90,000 millimeter squared. So, naka-store na tayo sa alpha A. Next, Area 2. Area 2 natin, okay, triangle, no? So, ang height natin is 300. So, ilan ngayon to? Ah, meron pa pala sukat to. 55 degrees to. So, meron tayong height, wala tayong base. So, triangle lang naman yun eh. Simple triangle. Para sa area 2, ito yung ating triangle. 300. Then, yung ating base. Let's say A. And then, ito raw is... 55 degrees. Paano masolve ang A? This is tangent of 55 is equivalent to opposite na 300 over adjacent na A. So therefore, ang ating A is 300 over tangent of 55. So 21. 0.006. So 21 na lang siguro. 21 
millimeters. So, ngayon, ang ating area is 1 half of height na 300 multiplied by base na 21 millimeters. Then, multiplied by 2. Diba? Dalawa yan. Tama ba? 300 to, no? Ayan. So, dalawa sila na rectangle. Ay, triangle. So, check natin ulit. 300 divided by 50, uh, 55 degrees. So, yun yung ating adjacent. Opposite, adjacent, to tangent. Okay. So, ilan to? Ang 1 half natin, pwede natin ilagay sa calculator na 0.5. Then, multiplied by 300, multiplied by 21, multiplied by 2. So, 6, 3. Then, store natin sa P. Millimeter squared. Stored na siya sa alpha B. Then, area 3. Siyempre, meron na tayong A dito. Makukuha natin ngayon ito. Let's say this is B. So, ano ngayon ang B? B is equivalent to 600 minus dalawang A. So, 558 millimeters. So, ang ating uh, area 3 is height na 300 multiplied by B na 558. So, 558 multiplied by 300. So, 167,400 is natin sa C. Millimeter is squared. Next, area 4. Wala tayong height, wala rin tayong base. Ah, okay. Ito, no? This is 558. Tapos ito, 100. So, makukuha natin ito. Let's say, this is C. Ayan. Ito yung dalawa. So, yung ating, ano dito, uh, base is 558, then minus 100, then divided by 2. So, letter C. C is equivalent to, yung B natin na 558, then multiply, uh, minus, dalawang, ah, sorry, sorry, minus 100 lang pala, ito, 100. Then divided by 2. Kasi, tig isa yung, or dalawa yung ating C. 558 minus 100 over 2. So, this is 229 millimeters. Wait lang. Ilan ba to yung A natin? Ang ikas natin dito is 21 millimeters. Ito. Yung A natin dito is 21 millimeters. Tama ba yun? O, 55 is equivalent to opposite over adjacent na A. Kaya, 300 over tangent of 55. Yun, nagkamali tayo. Anong nangyari? 30 lang ata na ilagay ko kanina. Sorry. Ayan, 30 lang pala. Kaya pa napagtaka. So, sorry, 210.06 pala siya. Sorry, guys. This is... Di, mali tuloy yung 558 natin. So, mali na lahat. So, huwag natin tuloy. The joke lang. So, mali to. Ayan, then ito. So, mali ngayon to yung ano. 30 lang pala yung nailagay namin. Sorry, guys. This is 210.06 millimeters. Tapos, ang ating small b is 600 minus 2 multiplied by 2 uh, 210.06. So, 179.88. 179.88. Yan. Then, ito, yung ating c is yung b na 179.88. Yan. Tama na to. 179 minus 100 then divided by 2. Ito ang c name. 39.94. Kaya pala tataka ako, sa drawing kasi, kahit pa paano, is skilled to eh. Kaya nakapagtaka na, ba't parang mas malaki yung C kasi dun sa A? ba Okay, so tama naman tayo sa area 1. Area 2 na lang is, yan. Gawin na natin itong ano, A na lang. So this is A. And this is, area 3, multi uh, 300 multiplied by B. So 1 half of 300 multiplied by A na, 210.06 Then multiplied by 2 1 half Okay, ang height 300 Ang base is 210.02 At 06, then multiplied by 2 So 630 
63018. So, store natin saan? Sa alphabet. 63018. And then, area 3. 300 multiplied by B na 179.88. So, 53964. So, sa C na siya. 53964. Millimeters. Then, area 4. Ang area 4 natin is 100 multiplied by... Meron na tayong ano eh, base eh, yung height na lang. Ayan, yung height natin, let's say, this is our height D. So, paano masasabi ang D? Meron tayong ano dyan, angle, tangent 75 degrees is equivalent to opposite na D, then over adjacent na C. So, therefore, ang ating uh, D is C na 39.94 multiplied by um, tangent. No, tangent of 75 degrees. So, 149.058 millimeters. So, this is D. 179.058. Oops. So, once, uh, 17.905.8, store natin sa D. Alpha D. One, uh, 17905.8 millimeter squared alpha d and last area 5 dalawang triangle one half of height ang height natin is d ang base natin is c then multiplied by 2 one half of d height 149.58 then multiplied by base. Ang base natin is C na 39.94. Then, multiplied by 2 kasi dalawang triangle. So, store natin sa E. So, 5, uh, 5974.22 or 23. 5974.23 millimeter squared. So, alpha E. Therefore, ang ating area total, ang haba, no? Ang ating area total is alpha A plus alpha B, plus alpha C, plus alpha D, plus alpha E. 23, 0, uh, 230862. 230, 862. 230, 862. 230, 862. 230, 862. Hindi pwede nang dito ah. Tapos ganyan sila latag. Hindi. Dapat sa centroids. Siyempre, dapat alam nyo na ang concept ng centroids kasi tapos na kasi statics of rigid bodies. So, ito yung ating total weight. It's equivalent to 22.6 kilo newton per meter cube. Then, yung ating um, area is naka ano? Naka millimeter squared. So, kailangan i-multiply natin ito ng 1 or 1 meter cube a meter squared over 1,000 square natin to para mag millimeter square siya. Na diba, 1 meter is equivalent to 1,000 millimeter. Then, square mo lang kasi naka millimeter square to. So, cancel na to And then, cancel yung meter squared. Matitira is isang meter. So, therefore, yung ating total weight is Five point twenty-two. So disclaimer lang, kung sakali man na mali yung answer namin dito, possible na mali kami sa computation. Pero check nyo naman yung concept, di ba? Ang kailangan lang naman natin is area. So possible na nagkamali-mali kami kakaya kanina. Nagkamali kami ng pindot sa calculator, yun lang. Pero yung concept at kung paano mag-solve, same na same lang. Tama rin naman yung concept. Nagkataon lang na kanina, Medyo naguluan na kasi kami kaya hindi kami sure kung tama na yung napipindot namin sa calculator. But anyway, um, matter na, na lang yun kung paano magpindot sa calculator. So, sa graduin nyo lang na tama yung mapipindot ninyo. Okay? So, yan lang naman siya. Area 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, and 5. Okay, so yan. So, I hope na uh, naitindihan ninyo kung paan natin sinolve yung ating total weight para sa ating New Jersey barrier. So, hindi naman na siya medyo komplikado Unlike doon sa ating problem number 1. Pero, mas madaling isolve yung problem number 1 eh. Kasi ano lang sila. 
puro rectangular parallel pipe yung shape. Not unlike sa ating example number 2, talagang irregular na yung ating cross-sectional area. Kaya medyo matagal siyang isolve. Ang dami pong pinapasolve, di ba? Ang daming unknown. Kaya, ayan, medyo nagtagal tayo sa problem number 2. But anyway, ayan, I hope na natutunan nyo pa rin at naintindihan ninyo ng lubusan kung paano mag-solve ng ating total weight for this kind of problem. So please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and update on our YouTube channel. So thank you for watching. God bless everyone. Bye-bye.